in our last video we discussed about classification of wbcs today we will be discussing about platelets hello students i am dr faisal and you are watching biocean classes let's get started platelets platelets are also called as thrombocytes platelets are also called as thrombocytes okay why they are called as thrombocytes they are called as thrombocytes because they help in the formation of thrombus and what is thrombus thrombus is another name for clot so these are the cells which help in the formation of clot platelets are called thrombocytes because they help in the formation of thrombus or thrombus kisko bolte hain thrombus clot ko bolte hain okay so these platelets they are very important cells which are involved in the clotting process platelets their normal size is 2 to 4 micron meter their normal count is 1.5 to 3.5 lakh per millimeter cube if we compare this platelet with the rbc and the wbcs rbc were in the millions wbc were in thousands and platelets they are in lakhs so most numerous are wbc most numerous are rbcs followed by platelets and followed by wbcs okay and uh, these cells they are the smallest cells of the blood and they are also denucleated cells they do not possess any nucleus okay these are the smallest cells rbcs are denucleated platelets are denucleated but wbcs uh, they are nucleated cells okay formation of platelets this is a very important and a high yield point from where the rbc uh, these platelets come these platelets they are formed from a cell known as mega karyocyte mega karyocyte is the largest cell of bone marrow it's a larger cell of bone marrow which forms the platelets this is a very large cell if i make here this is a very large cell like this from the pinching of the cytoplasm the cytoplasm breaks like this the cytoplasm breaks in pieces from this cell and when it breaks it results into the formation of the platelet so mega karyocyte is the largest cell of the bone marrow which results into the formation of the platelets presence of platelets is a mammalian character the platelets they are only present in mammals they are not present in any other organism but for the functioning of clotting the other organisms they have cells known as spindle cells but platelets as it is they are only present in mammals platelets sirf mammals mein present hote hain baki organisms mein spindle cells present hote hain so mega karyocyte you need to remember this is a very important cell which helps in the formation of platelets okay uh, life span of uh, these platelets is 7 to 10 days and thrombopoietin it is a molecule which help in the process of thrombopoiesis thrombopoiesis is formation of the thrombocytes and from where the thrombocytes they come they come from mega karyocyte thrombopoietin is a molecule which acts on the bone marrow to produce the platelets so just like the erythropoietin we have thrombopoietin platelet if we see inside it has granules and these granules there are two types alpha granules and the dense granules just uh, for the sake of names you need to remember alpha granules and the dense granules alpha granules contain platelet derived growth factor and the clotting factors and dense granules they contain calcium atp and the thromboxane a2 just remember platelet it contain granules like alpha granules and the uh, we have the dense granules functions of the platelets if we talk about functions of the platelets the platelets they are most important involved in the clotting mechanism they help the blood to clot and how it is involved in the clotting or the bleeding uh, time of the blood they help in formation of hemostatic plug what is hemostatic plug hemostatic plug is uh, initially when the blood vessel ruptures and blood starts to come out initially the platelets go and they form a plug no clotting mechanism is activated just the platelets go and block that uh, site injured site this is the first mechanism hemostatic plug so first function is it stops the bleeding second thing is it helps in the formation of clotting it forms a clot it converts the in fibrinogen into fibrin and helps in the clotting mechanism third it helps in the clot retraction clot retraction is after some time the clot retracts to bring the open edges of the wound close to each other this is by the virtue of platelets the platelet helps in the clot retraction as well as platelets contain some prostaglandin analogs which helps uh, to maintain the local blood flow what is local blood flow again i told you there are some molecules like thromboxin a2 prostacyclins they regulate the formation of some nitric oxide like molecules which regulate the blood flow okay so clotting mechanism is the most important function of the platelets some terms again thrombocytopenia this is decreased platelet count and thrombocytosis this is increased platelet count when the platelet count it increases it is known as thrombocytosis and when platelet count decreases it is known as thrombocytopenia 
there can be different causes of thrombocytopenia uh, why the platelet counts it uh, get decreased like we have some bone marrow disorders if the bone marrow is not functioning we have some drugs okay we have some consumption coagulopathy consumption coagulopathy means there is some disorder in the body in which the clotting factors uh, they are getting utilized or coagulation is working without check all the platelets they are going to be utilized and uh, number four we can have some autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases if the antibodies are directed against the platelets they will destroy the platelets so thrombocytopenia is decreased platelets what will happen if platelets they are less if platelets are less in the blood it will result into the uh, bleeding tendencies the person will be having a bleeding tendencies and one of the manifestation is purpura purpura is purplish blue purplish uh, you can say discoloration of the skin Whenever there is bleeding from a vessel in the skin, under the skin you will be having small pinpoint purplish discolorations uh, which will be because of the uh, bleeding under the skin. If the blood vessels they rupture under the skin, platelets are less, it results into the purplish color of the skin which is known as the purpura. So there will be different uh, uh, bleeding disorders if the uh, platelets they are not functioning properly. We, I tried to summarize uh, most of the functions of the platelets platelets uh, they are formed from the mega karyocytes they are the smallest cells of the blood they are involved in the clotting mechanism in subsequent video i will try to discuss about the clotting mechanism that's a very important lecture how intrinsic factor works how extrinsic factors they work this all i will uh, cover in the next subsequent video if you have any suggestions or queries you can write me in the comment box if you like this video then share with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.